Hey guys, Jill Karen from Two Dogs Media. Just going to give you an overview of Yandex Metrica. This is a new tool that we actually found. It is completely free and we are really loving it. Um, we have not dug too deep into it. This video is meant to be an overview so you can get a feel for the aesthetic of it and some of the data that it can provide you to see if it's a good fit for you. If it is, it's easy to set up. You just create a Yandex account. You'll create a tag for the website that you want to include and you can track multiple websites. You install that code on your website and it'll pull all this amazing data in for you. We have tested it with a page speed tester. We have not seen a big difference in page speed so there is no issues there and uh, so far we're really impressed um, with the data that it is giving us. So let's just run through real quick. Again, this is not meant to be a tutorial. It's just meant to be a guide to help you see if it's a good tool for you to use. We have uh, twodogsdesign.com is the only site we have it on right now because we wanted to test it out before we added it to too many websites. But this is our site. This is our main dashboard. You can see on the dashboard it'll give you a whole slew of little widget areas with different information in each. How many users have been on the site today? How many of them are new users? What my bounce rate is? Average time on site? Where our traffic is coming from today? The most common URLs that are being reached, um, some of the keywords that are drawing traffic to our site. This is Bing. Uh, obviously, you're not going to see too much in here from Google because they hide their keyword data. But the cool thing is, one, you can customize all of these widgets with different things. Um, you can add new widgets. They have a whole widget library of all the different things you might want to add. So you can totally customize this any way you want. You can see today's data. If I change this, I can see yesterday's data. Um, I could see the last quarter, although we've only had it installed for about a week. Um, so you could change dates to do a custom date. Lots of options. Reports, just like Google Analytics, it's got a whole bunch of reports. There are some standard reports. Um, you know, let's see, we'll take a look at the traffic report. So this is a traffic report for today, which will tell me all the visitors to my site. Okay. It'll tell me about how many people were on the site at any given time during the day, so I can look for fluctuations uh, or popularity of a certain time. Maybe I'm a big lunchtime. Um, these people, I had seven sessions going on at 11.20, so maybe people are getting ready to go to lunch, so maybe I get a big influence, influx at that time. Um, there's different filters. You can group by 10 minutes. You can group by, the, by an hour. Okay, so here I can say at 12 o'clock I had 14 people on. I had 17, so just a really amazing tool just to kind of gauge how popular your site is at any time of day. Um, other reports, you know, keyword report, you're not going to get a ton out of this only because Google doesn't really give you too much. So I don't know how useful that's really going to be. Uh, we use AREFs to find that kind of information. There's um, different search engines. You can see the search engines that are drawing the traffic to you. Uh, they give it to you two ways. You can either do the list or you can look at the graph. Um, you can see Google, obviously we're clearly shining in Google's eyes, not so much in the other ones. So this is all the cool information, you know, base, in basic reporting. I mean, we can go on for hours about the reports. Uh, we haven't really gotten into these too much yet, but we do hope to uh, dig more into it when we have more free time. So Maps is another really cool tool. We haven't gotten into this too much yet, so I, I can't really give too much information about it, but what it does, it kind of gives you some information about how the users are using your website. I'm not really familiar with the link map or the click map yet. Um, scroll map just kind of shows you kind of how people are scrolling through your website. The click map will show you, it's supposed to show you where people are clicking on, on your website. That's typically what a, a click map is. You can see there's people clicking on the logo to get back to the home page work services we recommend and blog are all being clicked. Apparently we recommend it probably means it's getting clicked a little bit more. Um, we have an odd one out here. We have one here which is interesting because our images on the home page are not clickable. Uh, they're not links so this tells me maybe I might want to make that a link. So that's something I'm definitely going to look at. Okay, And there's really no... Oh, somebody looks like they might have tried calling our phone number. So you can see the different clicks. So this is one tool, like I said, we haven't dug into it too much yet, but I'm guessing there's going to be really cool stuff in there. What really got us excited is this session replay. 
So what Session Replay is, you actually get a screen recording of everybody that's visited your website. And this is a gold mine for those of you who want to improve the structure or content of your website and really understand how people are interacting with your site. So what I did today, because I really wanted to make sure I was giving you guys accurate information and really justifying that this is a pretty darn accurate tool. There's a lot of things that can affect a screen recording, so I just want to make that known. Um, I don't know if I'm going to add that to the blog post or not, but there's a lot of different things that can make a screen recording be a little bit inaccurate. Um, and that's usually used due to user settings. But I did this test one, and I'm going to show this to you, and it was 100% accurate with how I navigated the site. And you'll be able to see exactly what I did. Okay, that's our portfolio page. I scrolled down it. I clicked on one of our projects. It took me to that project page. Then I scrolled down a little bit more. Then I clicked on another project. Then I scrolled down just a little bit. Then I went ahead and I clicked to the blog link. I clicked on a blog post. And then I scrolled, oh, sorry, I didn't scroll. I actually, I clicked that link, which would have opened in a new browser. Then I went back to the post. And then I scrolled down. And then I clicked one more time. I did clicking here, which again would have took them to an off-site um, page or a new tab page. So this was 100% accurate. And what this is telling me, it just shows you where, you know, we moved a little more on the page than others. And this is the stuff that Google uses, although uh, some people say no, I say yes, but I think there is some kind of effect on how somebody navigates your site to determine where you should be ranking. Um, so I do think there is a relationship. I don't think it's a, a direct ranking factor, but I do think the more somebody spends time on your website, it's an indicator of how popular that page may be with users, and that's the kind of stuff that Google wants their readers to see. So this has, this is like gold to me. Um, so these little tools at the bottom, like here you can see it opened in a new page. This was another new page that opened. This was a new page. The B will tell me that a new page was open, but it opened in a new tab. So some of my links I do have open in new tabs, depending what it is and if it makes sense. So this is gold. So if I go back to the session replay area on Yandex, you can see a list. This is all the people that were on my site today. It'll give me this, which will tell me where, if it's coming from the search engines or this one, which is telling me it's direct traffic, which it was because it was me. Um, I think there might be some social media links. Uh, there's one that'll tell you if it comes from social media. Actually, it might be further down. Okay, I think this one. So that'll tell you, okay, this person came from social media. They came from Facebook. Okay, then it's going to tell you what time they visited. This person was on my site at 1246. It tells you the level of activity. Okay, they were only on it for five seconds. Okay, what is a meta description? For some reason, they bounced right off, so clearly it didn't resonate with them for whatever reason. Same here. This one did a few actions, so it'll tell you, it'll give you a good idea of who's being really active with your website, um, how long they were on your site, how many page views they did, how many sessions they've had on your website, and then the landing page, what page they entered your website on. This is all just really crucial information to helping you guys understand how people are using your site. Highly recommend this. Um, when you set up your tag, you can actually set up a variety of different things as well. It'll allow you to input different conversions and goals so that you can see what's working for you and what's not. So if I open this one up and if I change my settings, so this was a tag that I just played with with dummy. But if I look at the bottom, oh, sorry. If I look at, I can do goals. I can add a goal. So if you're an e-commerce site, you can add goals to this so that you can get reports done on goals and those goals can filter into your replays and your other reports. Um, 
so much information. So I hope this was somewhat helpful. I highly recommend this tool. And if I can answer any questions, let me know. But I hope you guys go have fun with it.